Hi, this is Corey with Cheap Horsepower. I'm going to show you how to get your solenoid and your starter switch to work on these Teo Teos, uh, Chinese four wheelers, as well as other things, lawnmowers, things like that. Uh, solenoids can be really confusing and wiring in general can be really confusing. That's why this is going to clear up a lot of issues for you guys. Here, why don't you come take a look. This is what I've done just to show you a test here. This is a solenoid. This is what it looks like. You have two wires that come out of it. You have a ground wire and a power wire. On this particular one, you have a green one and or a green and yellow and a red and yellow. The red and yellow, that is your power wire. This has to go to a power source. So what's happening here is I have set up a power wire here, which will go to your power side on your solenoid. This is going straight to your battery, and right now I have it hooked up to a jump box. So what I do just to test this is I wrap these two wires just so I can show you everything. And then this will go to your kill switch. Off your kill switch on these, it's a brown wire and a blue wire. You're going to hook the power wire to the brown or the blue. doesn't matter. These two are the same. It's just a trigger. This would go right back to the red and yellow wire because this is the power side. The ground is always going to be grounded to a chassis, so it doesn't matter. You can leave that alone. This is the only part that's going to get snipped. And just to show you, that is on the solenoid side, not on this side. Once you do that, you'll be able to have your trigger. You'll be able to bypass that remote. So with the jump box on, It'll start right up. And that's how you complete the job. Everything else will function like normal. You have your kill switches. Everything else will be normal. That's how you get it done.